Janelle. Hello, Kasama. How are you doing today? Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is so exciting. This so is exciting. Really exciting. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for making time to be here in this 100 degree heat of this beautiful American Canyon weather that we have. Yeah. Um, so my name is Kasama Lee. I, uh, I'm a community realtor and I serve wear many hats in our American Canyon community. And today marks the first ever interview episode uh, of Kasama Lee TV. And I decided, this is the cool part, right? I get to decide who I would love to um, share the visibility um, that you know has done amazing things in our American Canyon community. And today I have my good friend who is an executive director of a very well-known, now very well-known, American Canyon Communities and Park Foundation, Janelle Selling. Everybody say hi. <laughs> Hello, thanks again. <laughs> and I have to say, Kasama is a founding board member, so five, almost five years, well, over five years ago, when we had this little idea, she jumped right on board and helped us get to where we are today. So, thank you so, so many levels. Oh, you're welcome. It has been a pleasure, and it's it's definitely ACCPF has been one of the uh, nonprofit organizations that I am so proud to have been part of, and still are, um, am, speak English, uh, still am a supporting um, member uh, to the organization. So I wanted to just uh, have some questions for you sure. about, in terms of ACCPF, a little bit about you, because as well known as many of us may think of when we think of Janelle Sally and her awesome husband Mike Sally. I got you, Mike. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, um, some of you may not have heard of ACCPF, may not have uh, heard of you know what Janelle, Mike, and the whole entire board have has um, put together of this organization. So let me start with this. Janelle, what uh, when what year was ACCPF founded? Uh, we were founded in officially founded in March of 2015, um, but it was summer of 2014 when we I made a call to Kasama as well as a few other people in the community. So this coming March, so March of 2020, we'll be officially celebrating our five year anniversary, and we have some really exciting things planned for that month. Five years. Wow. No. Never, yeah. never a dull year. With never this a dull year. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what made you decide in 2014 to create ACCPF? Oh gosh, that's a great question. Um, well, back then I was, and actually I still am, on our city's parks commission. Um, mm -hmm. And another commissioner, Matt Plate, who jumped back and forth here, was also a founding board member and is still our current foundation president. Mm -hmm. Uh, Matt and I were commissioners together, and so the idea of having a nonprofit uh, supporting arm of the parks, uh, the parks department, was actually written into our parks master plan at the time. Um, the parks master plan is about 15 years old now, but it was written in there. It was one little line, um, sort of written in as an alternative source of revenue. Parks are traditionally underfunded in communities. There's um, often um, a, a lack of um, financial support, and they just the parks departments are usually the first things to have uh, the first departments to have uh, funding cut in right. times of, of um, recession. So we just thought this sounds like a good idea, and boy, I don't think we knew what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> We thought maybe we would do a little bit of like Capital Parks fundraising or maybe some money, um, provide money for scholarships so that kids don't be, have to be turned away from camp and swim lesson programs and things like that. But what we found, um, I really took it and ran with it, and what we found right off the bat was that the community embraced what we did and that is because they, they love our parks, our open spaces. And I think what they did is they really were looking for um, a, 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 an organization that's boots on the ground, community driven, grassroots, that they could um, identify with mm -hmm. and then and give to and get involved in to help support their love of our parks and open spaces. And so we started with this little idea and it just grew so quickly. Over the, over the course of one to two years, we were providing our own programming we were holding a very successful fundraiser, we were giving money for scholarships, uh, we had formalized as a board, we had incorporated and gotten our nonprofit status. So we just came together 
I don't want to say effortlessly because there was a lot of work behind the scenes, yeah. but what we found was that the community embraced us so well and, uh, and um, so robustly mm -hmm. that we were able to just grow organically and, it, um, and, and since then we haven't stopped, we've, we've expanded even further and we um, really have our hands in many aspects of the, the community, yeah. so it's exciting. Man, talk about a vision yeah. that turned into something bigger than Yes. Now it's a cause, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's a vision. I think our board, our staff, myself, we all share this vision of improving our community and yeah. um, and making our community into the type of community that we want to all raise our families in. So yeah. it's great as it is, but there's always room for a little improvement, and so we're here to help. Um, you know, be that connection to the community mm -hmm. and help move things forward as needed, and um, and be accessible. Yeah. When you live here, you take a lot of these elements, the beauty and yeah. all of the things that we have to offer for granted, but for somebody who maybe is coming through, mm. what would be the one thing that you want them to know about whether it ties into the mission of mm -hmm. ACCPF or, you know, why American Canyon? Why American Canyon? Well, first and foremost, I would say, uh, get off the highway. <laughs> So, so many people come through our town and they don't, they don't quite, they don't, they don't get a feel for it because they're commuters and they're going back and forth and all they see is the big Walmart and some of the other, you know, our, our um, unimproved center divide and things yeah, like that. Right. And, and I feel like our, our, the vision that people get as they come through doesn't match the heart of the community. Mm. And so I would say, uh, get off the highway, come and get involved, join a club join an organization, if you move here, you'll get your kids in our schools and you'll you'll very quickly get embraced. And so, um, you know, whichever side of the highway you get off on, you're gonna find something beautiful, whether it's our wetlands edge areas with 10 to 12 miles of trails where you're surrounded by water and some of the most biodiverse um, nature in, in the entire Bay Area, or our new wow. open space preserve. Oh yeah, it's amazing. We have some of the most diverse concentration of birds that you'll find anywhere. It's a birder's paradise. Uh, Newell Open Space Preserve is on our east side of town and if you take the five mile round trip hike uh, through that loop about halfway through on a clear day you can see all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge. And so one of the things that makes our community so special is the accessibility to mm -hmm. these open spaces. Uh, there's not very many places in California where you can buy a, a modestly priced house near and accessible to so much water. Yeah. Right? Water, there's a thing about humans being connected and feeling, want to, want, wanting to be close to water, and you can do that here, so it's really special. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, how do you do it all? A mom of four, two, two of them are teenagers, right? Uh, yes. Three, <laughs> to think Three. about that. Three. Yes, two of them. My twins are 14, and then I have a 12 year old and a 10 year old. So they're teens and preteens, they're four and four years. And so, yes, we're all going through all of the um, life changes and growing all together. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, busy household, busy, busy life, yeah. busy career. Yeah. That is, you know, you're, you're heading up a one of the, I have to say, one of the most successful nonprofit organizations wow. ever created in this town, I feel. Thank you. I mean, how much money did your event raise? We, last last year we raised $223,000 at I think it's a ruins. That was our fourth event. So that funds a good portion of our programs and our ability to run successfully throughout the year. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say that's, that's pretty successful. Yeah. yeah, it's very exciting, yeah. So, how do you do it all? <laughs> How do you do all this? Well, I, I, you know, it's like any very busy family or busy mom. Um, you just do the best you can. Nothing is ever perfect. Laundry is undone and you just have to go with it and that's okay. Um, but I wouldn't change anything. I feel really incredibly lucky to have the job that I have. I love my job. I love living in this community. I love working with people like Asama and other people that are so community driven, it's, um, it, it feels like the right place to be and so I'm really grateful for that. Mm. Um, but well, I, one of the things that I think is really, um, ha has I guess made it easier in a way yeah. is that, you know, I live here, I raise my kids here. I've been living here much longer than I've been the executive director or than the foundation's been around. And so people know you as both a person um, and as a professional. And 
in American Canyon is so small that you can't really hide behind either hat. You, ha you have to be both in the community and you have to be really kind of comfortable yeah. with swapping one hat for the other and living in the gray area that sometimes is both a personal and a professional relationship with someone. Yeah. Uh, you know, for example, I'll be at a kid's sporting event or soccer game and I have you know, big sponsors of our Evening at the Ruins event there because their mm. kids go to the same school or whatnot, right? right? So, right. and those are people that I, I, I adore and I'm grateful for on a personal and a professional level. Um, or I'm at the store and I see foundation members or founding members or, you know, somebody that's just been at one of our events. And so, in those situations, I'm certainly not always a put together professional. I'm just mom with my, trucking my kids around, right? And so, I think for one, you have to get really comfortable with that, and then for mm -hmm. two, I hope and I feel like maybe it lends a little bit of credibility to what yeah. we're doing because I am a member of this community, um, I'm, I, I live here, I'm raising my family here, and that's part of why we're doing this is because I hold this community so close to my heart and so dearly that, that I and the foundation exist to try and make it better and make it mm -hmm. as good as it can be. Yeah. So it, whether you, it's a personal hat or professional hat you're wearing or you're put together for a meeting or you're running around with your kids, you just are who Or when you you're are. jogging on the wetlands. Or when you're jogging on the wetlands. Wetlands and road, because I've seen her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, there goes Janelle. Yeah. yeah. You just are who you are and I think you um, one of the things I like best about it is even all the professional relationships I've developed in our small town I feel like I've gotten to know the people behind them and at the root of all of this is, is um, people are people first yeah beautiful and we all love this community so yeah so Janelle clearly when I when I I think one of the reasons that I can relate to you is is you're a person of passion now today Mm -hmm. Janelle Sally, October 2019. Mm, okay. What is your passion? Oh gosh, that is a hard question. Good She's giving me the hard question. She giving me the hard question. So that's an exciting question too. Okay, I, I, there's too many. I can't, it's really hard to say just one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm passionate first and foremost about my family and my husband and the girls. They're, you know, my reason for being really. Um, and so that first, but on a side note, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about, of course, the outdoors. It, 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 um, the outdoors and time spent nature fills me up personally. Mm -hmm. Running, reading, spending time with friends, those are all my passions. But I think, um, I guess I'd say bigger, and that, that's a, those are sort of the smaller things. The, the umbrella passion is just, is, is living your best life in your community. Oh, and, that's good. And I feel like, we're here to um, to encourage people to get off the highway and get to know this community. And one of the reasons I'm so proud of living in American Canyon is that we're one of the few communities left that has room to grow and we have tremendous momentum in growth in American Canyon. And it's a really exciting time to be able to shape some of that growth mm -hmm. and anything that the foundation can do to help drive us forward. And, uh, and and increase awareness of American Canyon as a great place to live. Mm. We're here for that. Yeah. Uh, American Canyon needs more representation in, in Napa County, right? And so yeah. we're here to raise our hands and say, yeah, you may drive through and it doesn't look like much when you're on the highway, but you get off and there's um, there's a lot happening here. And it's a really exciting place to live and exciting place to work, so come check us out. Love it. <laughs> What's the slogan? So about a year ago, we created our Screen Time to Green Time campaign. And um, so the full slogan is, we turn screen time into green time. And the, the reasoning behind that was because as both a board and personally, and what we were hearing from other families is that parents really struggle with this balance of kids not spending so much time outdoors and spending a lot of time on screens. And um, in school, kids learn on screens, they do homework on screens, they mm -hmm. spend their leisure time on screens, they connect with their friends on screens. And so what we're seeing is that um, the kids these days spend an average of six to eight hours in front of a screen and less than about five to seven minutes outdoors in unstructured play. That's vastly different than the way you or I grew up. Mm -hmm. And in fact, one of the reasons that we developed the foundation in general um, big picture wise is that we feel like we're helping to create the next generation of outdoor stewards of our environment. And oh, I love it. Yeah, you know, and then, I mean, on the, this day in late October, it's 95 degrees outside, there's fires burning in Sonoma. It's clear that we're facing uh, a time in history with unprecedented environmental change. Yeah. And so 
we're aware of that now and between you know species extinction climate change accessibility to water and those are some really big picture kind of scary issues and at the same time we're experiencing these changes in the environment our kids are less connected to the outdoors than they ever have been and so we know that we're going to be relying on this next generation to rise up and help to solve some of these complex issues but if they don't get their hands in the dirt and they don't get outside and experience nature on their own, they won't develop their own relationship with it. Um, they, you can't love with what you don't experience and what you don't develop a connection to. Ooh, that's a good one. And so that's, that's a really big picture reason why we're here, is we want to help kids develop their own relationship with nature and grow up to embrace the natural world and help to solve some of these complex environmental issues that we're facing. I love it. So, um, I'm just in awe of all that you, your leadership, and your entire board, and your- You're pretty fantastic. Not even just your board anymore. You, you, board. You, you, your <laughs> tribe, your ACC tribe. My tribe. tribe. Shout out to our staff and our board. You guys are awesome. Shout out to, to all of you for doing this amazing work that continues to grow and um, in, in just a, a magnitude that I don't think any of us could have envisioned from day one at yeah. grassroots, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And I'm, I'm just proud to know this, this young lady who I am proud to call a friend and who's a visionary, who's a community leader, who's just doing positive, impactful stuff in American Canyon. So ladies and gentlemen, if you ever run into Janelle, whether she's jogging or she's at the grocery store or she's walking around making things happen, say hello to Janelle, even Please. if you don't know her. Yeah, say hi. Yeah. Love to chit chat. And tell her you heard about her from this video because it's going to go viral. <laughs> I'll chat with you until my kids pull me away and go, stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Stop talking, Mom. All right. Right. So I want to thank you so much for everything that you've given to the foundation. I love our partnership and appreciate you um, sponsoring these new members. So new members come, one of the first things you can do is come to one of our coffee mornings. I won't take the sticker off, but in here's a little coffee mug. Uh, we have three Starbucks uh, four times a year. Come out to Wetlands and have a coffee morning with us. We have goodies too. Yeah, so every new member that you are my client, you'll get this cool ACCPF coffee mug and a few other things yeah. that um, is coming in. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and the upcoming list of events that are coming up, they have the whole probably 2020 already planned yeah, out, we right? Do. We do. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So anyway, Janelle, thank you so much. Thank you. I love your heart and just keep rocking it. We, The world needs more bright lights like you. <laughs> Don't stop. Aw, thank you, dear. Oh, thank you. This is so fun. All right. Ciao.